Flying the flag for the environment at Kakum Primary School near Stranraer. They try to be eco-friendly in everything they do here. Lighting up the school Christmas trees is no exception. The only energy used, the children's. Peter is pedalling. The energy that he's producing is turning this motor from an, a, a scooter. And that energy is being stored in the battery, which is then being transformed by the inverter, and that is going to power the lights. The old exercise bikes, scooter motors and car batteries are reclaimed from scrap and came free. Costs are minimal. The only things that we've had to buy are the, the inverters, the cabling and the LED lights. The whole package together about one thirtieth of the original energy that was being used in the lights to power the Christmas tree. When we were doing, figuring out how much we, the old lights were costing, we were learning things like um, what the wattage was and things like that. It's quite good actually, we save the money that we can go and do something else with. The hardest part is giving the batteries their initial charge. After that, it's just a case of keeping them topped up with a little gentle pedalling. All in all, a useful exercise in every sense. It impinges on, um, obviously, mathematics um, to work out the cost of um, lowering our carbon emissions. Um, or also on the science side of where electricity comes from and on our eco side with um, uh, where all the materials came from. And it keeps them fit as well, yes. Especially this time of year. And so, batteries fully charged, it's now downhill for the holidays. The kids here looking forward not so much to a white Christmas as a green one. Willie Johnston, reporting Scotland, Kirkham Primary School.